Like most things, when you're doing any type of job, there's multiple different ways to do it. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing top dressing this lawn behind me with a professional grade loot versus doing something a bit more DIY using a crate. I'm gonna be comparing the two on price, usability, and speed of application. So if you're interested in that, let's get stuck into the video. So first up, we've got a pallet. Now this pallet, I've cut down the middle just to make it a little bit easier to move around. If you had a bigger area, you can try to use a full size pallet, but essentially this is just a shipping pallet, a normal shipping pallet that I've had a delivery on and I've decided to reuse it for the purposes of this job. I've done nothing more than tie some strings just around the top and along the bottom. And I've tried to keep the rope split evenly in between so it's easier to drag. I'm gonna be doing a strip along the left hand side with the pallet here and a strip on the right hand side with my next tool, which is a lawn lute. So this tool is a professional lawn lute. And what that means is, it comes in three parts. And you can just assemble it together with a little hook on the end. and run this backwards and forwards over the lawn to help you level it out. The first thing I wanna do is to compare these two tools based on price. Now, generally, lawn loops have been famously expensive. There's a number of different hacks that you can do to make some products like this at home, but I'm focusing on this pre-manufactured one, which is one that's been given to me for demonstration on this video. This unit at the time of sale is going for around 99 pounds, but the prices of these can range right the way up into the hundreds of pounds. In terms of the crate, obviously this is free. Um, if you're having a delivery, you can save one back. And in terms of cost, hands down, the crate wins it for cost. So let's get into the second comparison, which is usability. I'm just gonna go ahead, dump a couple of piles of sand on the lawn and do a couple of drags with both of the tools so you can see what's going on. So let's go and take a look. So as you can see, I've got two rows of piles of material running down the lawn and I've got the loot on one and the pallet on the other. I'm going to do some passes with each and let's see which one works the substrate into the turf the quickest. So you can kind of see quite clearly that the loot worked the dressing into the soil much more effective than the pallet. I just feel that I'll probably have to do twice or three times as many passes to get the same amount of coverage. So in terms of application and performance, definitely the lawn loot takes this one by a country mile. Next up, I want to talk about storage and reusability. Now, quite often when you're leveling a lawn, it's not very often a one and done type of process. It's a process that you need to repeat time and time again. So this criteria is really gonna come down to your availability of materials and your storage space. But you've seen when I initially got the loot out, it packs down into a small little section. I can hang it on the garage wall and it'll be ready for using again the second time. So in terms of footprint, it takes up a lot less space than the crate and it's a lot more easier to store. Now, 
You might also be thinking, well, when I've used the crate, I can just throw it away, so I don't need to store it at all. Or maybe you're not planning to repeat this application again, and it's just kind of a one-off project for you. So really the storage kind of comes down to the personal preference of your situations. If you're gonna be doing this job and committing to it over multiple applications, then clearly the loot is better and it can be an investment for a number of years. But overall, in terms of raw storage, I'm gonna give this one to the loot because this design's quite compact. It folds up really nicely and just goes in the back of my shed as another lawn care tool. So here's another consideration that you might have, which is speed. If you're doing this job for somebody else or you're on a tight deadline, or you're gonna to plan to do it quite often throughout the year, then the loot is gonna be so much quicker with speed. You can go backwards and forwards over the same area. It probably allows you to get a better finish overall. So if speed is a consideration to you, then it's another point in the favor of the loot. But I've got one last point to compare these two together. And the last point is around satisfaction. Now, what I would say is there's something really satisfying about finding a tool or making a tool to get the job done at home. And if you can choose a low cost option, which you can make yourself spend a weekend doing it, there's something quite innately satisfying about doing that. So I would have to give for creativity, getting out in the lawn and just having a go at something. For fun, the pallet works. And I'm gonna give that point for fun to the pallet. Do you know what? If you've got the money to spend and you're gonna do this over a period of time, the loot is a decent investment in my opinion. If you haven't, or you wanna try and do things on a cheaper budget, which is again, absolutely fine, the pallet might be the option for you. If you've got any questions about this video, please leave me a comment in the description below. I do read all the comments, so it's much appreciated. And I'll also link, leave a link to the full leveling of this lawn in the card above.